What up guys? We got beautiful snow here outside of Philly and um, today we're going to do a review of the what Thermarest Neo Air X Lite and this is the regular size. So let's get to it. So this thing comes with a blow up sack. Comes with a blow up sack and um, I'll show you that afterwards. I just don't really like I don't know, for me, it didn't work that well, but I'll get into that later. Uh, so, I'll show you this valve first, if you come in. Um, so this valve, the way it works is, I mean, you twist it open, twist it closed, very easy. But it's a one-way valve, so when you have the second turny, you can see it has the arrow, turn it that way. And now it's an out valve, and when it's in, it's an in valve. So, I personally just like blowing into it every night. I found that easier. So I took, it's like 20, 25 breaths from what I do. So I just do quick breaths and it blows up in really no time at all. Then you close it shut, and you're good to go. So I didn't take a count, maybe you did. Let me know how many breaths was that. Um, and then you have yourself a pad. It's really firm, I mean, uh, and uh, and it's got some good thickness to it. That's like easily two inches, two and a half inches. Uh, this thing has an R value rating, it's uh, 4.2, and it is super comfortable. This is the regular size, like I said, and what that means is, it's um, it's not as wide and it's not as long. So for me, I'm 5'10", and this is perfect. Maybe up to six foot would be okay. Um, and uh, it would be nice to have a wider bed for your arms, but for me, it wasn't all that bad. Let me show you. Uh, so you can see my arms are off to the side here. But as long as they're both doing the same thing, I had no problem with it. So, you know, if one was up and one was down, that'd be an issue. But they're both just very comfortably, I got used to this really quick. Just uh, the arms hang a little bit lower than the body, and that was totally, totally comfortable for me. Uh, the other thing, uh, you're obviously going to be the main benefit, but one of the main benefits of a blow-up pad is... And you can sleep on your side and your hips not going to dig into the ground. You're not going to get that pressure point. So I would sleep like this. I would um, definitely recommend a pillow. Um, but I would just sleep on my side and be completely, completely comfortable. This was super excellent. Um, for me, any trouble I had sleeping was not due to the pad. Definitely recommend it. It's lightweight. It blows up very easily. And it's very comfortable. It takes up just a little bit of space. And, and yeah, I can't really say anything too bad about it. The only thing is, you can probably see I've got some baffle damage here. Um, you can see these, these, this spot here is super uplifted. The, the baffle um, barrier there broke. And same over here. Uh, and that, that happened when um, my hiking buddy Indy and, and I were both sitting on it. You know, I was sitting on one side and she was sitting on the other side and it just isn't made for that much weight and we're both not that big. I was like 160 and she was like 120. Um, so I would just say be careful with that. Uh, that was it though. And even with these bumps now, I didn't notice them when I was sleeping. It didn't change the comfort at all. It was, it's fine. It's a little bit, you know, you look at it and you're like, ah, darn. But it's really no big deal. So let me show you the blow-up sack. So here you have the blow-up sack. It catches air. And then I'll do a better demonstration. But you roll it up and then you puff the air into, into your sleeping pad. So it has this guy. 
And so you can see this, it has a little clip in here. It just plugs, basically plugs into, uh, or right onto that valve. It kind of clips on. And then you catch, well, let's close that up, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> but you catch, you just, it's on the sleeping pad. You just kind of open it up, cinch the top, bring it down, and then you have air and you press it open. And you can do it, you know, much better than that, but I just haven't used it anymore. So you get the right technique down and you can, like obviously not with this technique, but you can get it full like this every time and puff that air out. Um, but for me, even when I had it full and I had, I was getting it pretty consistent, I still, it took way too long. I didn't like it. Um, some other people I talked to said it would only be like seven or eight, um, I guess, bag puffs and uh, and then their their pad was completely full it didn't work that way for me I don't know if the seams weren't as tight on this one or or what I was doing differently but I preferred just uh, using my lungs and for me I didn't like some people talk about dizziness or lightheadedness or something and um, you know I wouldn't do it as soon as I finish I would just do it when I've already kind of settled down from the hike of the day and I would catch my breath already and for me I didn't have that issue so um, that's it. It comes with this guy. It has a little carrying case as well. I never used it. Um, I just, I have my own like waterproof bag that I use and, and yeah, that's it. It's a very good sleeping pad. I recommend it. Um, if, if you're going for a sleeping pad, this one's very good. And before I go, I'll just show you what it looks like to, you know, when you wake up in the morning. And you want to you want to get rid of your your uh, <laughs> you want to start packing up. So wait, let's just do a reenactment here. Oh, oh wow! I don't know why I slept out in the snow like this, but beautiful morning. <laughs> and let's just turn the knob here. There we go. And you just let it go, and that gets most of it. And then you can just get oh, to the tail end. And I like to fold it in half, because that's how I'm going to pack it anyway. And then you just roll it up. And then as you go, you just press the air out. Twist it up, close it up, it's ready, to, ready for the next use.